This video is on adding integers. And remember to put today's date at the top of your notes. Today is the 19th, I believe. <clears throat> All right. Modeling with a number line. Here, if we look at this, our problem is negative 3 plus 8. So the, the arrow line that's up above the number line is what's happening first, which is the negative 3. So negative 3, you go to the left. And then when you add 8, you go to the right, which gives you 5. And we'll do that, and we'll do some modeling with some chips and stuff like that if need be. Use the number line to model and solve the addition problems below. Okay, we've got a negative 1. So we're going to go to negative 1. And then up above that, we're going to add 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So a negative 1 plus 4 is 3. Okay, here we're going to add 1 and take away 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And that will give us the answer of negative 3. Okay? All right. Here we have a negative 1, and then we're going to take away 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. And that gives us the answer of negative 5. All right. Here we're going to add 1. And then add four more, which gives you five. Explain any additional patterns that you notice from the problem above. So when you add, or when the numbers Being added, have the same sign. So when the number being added have the same sign, then that solution will also have that sign. So then the solution... also have that sign. An example of this is number three and number four. When the signs are different, You can subtract the numbers and keep the sign of the number with the largest absolute value. Okay, and that's just pretty much, we're gonna learn a song that pretty much states that same thing right there. So if we're adding integers, if the two values have the same sign, then add and use the same sign. As a positive, positive is going to equal a positive, and a negative plus a negative is going to equal a negative. If the signs are different, then subtract and take the sign of the number with the greatest absolute value. Remember, the absolute value is how far a number is away from zero. Like this one, 6 plus a negative 5. 6 minus 5 is 1. 
and 6 is the, has the largest absolute value, so it's positive. Negative 6 plus 5 is negative 1 when you, it's 1 when you subtract, and 6 has a large absolute value, so you take negative. So it's negative 1. So let's practice adding integers and then find the sum of each column, checking your answers with the provided sum. So 9 plus 6, they're different signs, so we subtract, and that's 3. And the largest absolute value is 9, and its sign is negative. 4 plus 7, that's two positives. They'll keep the same sign, and 7 plus 4 is 11. And a negative 7 plus 12 are different signs, so we subtract. So 12 minus 7 is 5. Which number has the largest absolute value? It's 12. So that sign stays positive. 7 plus a negative 3 is different. So 7 minus 3 is 4. 7 has the largest absolute value, so it stays positive. 1 plus a negative 9 are different. So 9 minus 1 is 8. 9 is the largest absolute value, so you take that sign negative. 2 plus a negative 6 is different, so you subtract. 6 minus 2 is 4. 6 has the largest absolute value, so it's negative. Column C, a negative 11 plus 5 is different, so you subtract. 11 minus 5 is 6. 11 has the largest absolute value, so its sign is negative. Negative 5 plus negative 9 is same sign, add and keep. So 9 plus 5 is 14, and keep the negative sign. 11 plus a negative 5 is different signs, so different signs you subtract. 11 minus 5 is 6. 11 is the largest absolute value, and it's positive, so it stays positive. And D, a negative 6 plus a negative 8 is same sign, add and keep. 8 plus 6 is 14. And we keep the negative sign. 3 plus 9 is same sign, so add and keep. 9 plus 3 is 12. And negative 10 plus a negative 5 is the same sign, so we add and keep. 10 plus 5 is 15, and we keep the sign of negative. So if we add this, this is 16, and 16 minus 3 is 13, so that one's right. This is negative 12 plus 4, so negative 8, so that's right. Negative 6 plus a negative 14 is a negative 20. Minus 6 is a negative, or plus 6 is a negative 14, so that's correct. Negative 14 plus a negative 15 is a negative 29. And a negative 29 plus 12 is a negative 17. So all of those came out right. As you apply integer operations to real-world situations, consider asking yourself the following question to guide your thinking and determine reasonableness for your solutions. What value are you beginning with? What value do you also know and what does it represent? And does your solution make sense in the context of the problem? We talked about reasonableness with some of your flashback answers last week. Example six, a submarine is traveling 200 feet below sea level. It ascends, remember I gave you that word yesterday, 75 feet. What is the new position of the submarine? Write and solve an equation to represent the situation. So a submarine is traveling 200 feet below sea level. So that's a negative 200. And we're going to add, it ascends 75 feet. So we're going to add 75 to it. There are different signs, so we're going to subtract. So 200 minus 75 is 125. 200 is the largest absolute value, so that sign is negative. The submarine is now... One hundred and twenty-five feet 
below sea level. All right, number seven. A scuba diver dove 40 feet below the sur surface of the water. He then dove an additional 17 feet. What is the depth of the scuba diver now? Write and solve the equation to represent the sum. He dove 40 feet, and this is adding, and then he dove another 17. So that's a negative 40 plus a negative 17. At the same time, we're going to add and keep. So that would be a negative 57. So in words, the scuba diver is now 57 feet. below the surface of the water. And then number eight, the last one. Three friends are playing a card game. To start, each player draws four cards. The player with the largest sum goes first. Which player should go first? Okay, so what I would do in this case, I would take these first two. And 6 plus a negative 9, they're different signs subtract. So six, 9 minus 6 is 3, and the sign is negative. Okay, then we've got 3 plus 7. 3 plus 7, they're opposite. So we subtract those. 7 minus 3 is 4, but 7 has the largest absolute value, so it stays 4. And then we've got 4 plus a negative 5. They're different. So 5 minus 4 is 1. And 5 is the largest absolute value, so we keep that. So Dina's is negative 1. That's her sum. Corey has 5 plus 3. That equals 8. 8 plus 0 equals 8. 8 plus a negative 6. The signs are different, so you subtract. And that'll be 2. 8 is the largest absolute value, so it stays positive. So Corey has 2. Malcolm, 11 plus a negative 12 is different sign subtract. So 12 minus 11 is 1. 12 has the largest absolute value, so it's negative. Negative 1 plus a negative 3, same sign, add and keep. So 3 plus 1 is 4, we'll keep the negative. And then negative 4 plus 4, that's a number and it's opposite. And we know that from flashbacks that that is 0. So the person with the largest score would be Corey.